Hey guys, Ivan here again. So I have the brothers from Brotherwise Game, Chris and Johnny, who are gonna be doing a little run through of Unearth with us. So uh, Chris, you set us up for a little three player action, right? I did. So the game's set up for three players. Uh, the main thing you'll see is we've dealt out five ruins. We happen to have one ruin of each color out here. And each rune has a little marker to tell us how many stones to put on there, and we've placed the stones on the ruins. So the whole point of the game is to try to get matching of colors. Exactly. Into the ruins, right? And we have a scoring card to show us just how many each set is worth. So if I'm going aggressively green, and I manage to get five in a set, that's worth 30 points. Absolutely. So most of your points are gonna come from matching those ruins. Right. You can also get supporting points from these wonders here. Right, which looks like we got two generics, uh, the lessers, which can give you from two to four points, and the graders, which can give you from from six to eight, and then we've got some special abilities here with more uh, specific parameters, yeah. in which is the whole point. Not the whole point, it's part of the point. You can win this game multiple ways. Yeah. Johnny. Why don't I kick us off with the first turn, uh, and every turn consists of two phases. The first is that you have a Delver phase. So Chris is gonna deal two Delver cards to each of us at right. the beginning of the game, uh, and we'll get further Delver cards over the course of the game. These are just basically like little action cards that we can use to supplement our rolls if we want. Right, they can impact the roll you're about to make or they can impact, in some cases, dice already on the table. Got it. Uh, but for now, you know, that's an optional phase. I'm gonna start out by uh, just moving on to the excavation phase and uh, rolling a die. So okay. I'm gonna choose one of my Delver dice and there's a lot of uh, you know strategy that can go into choosing one, but which I'm one, gonna start Which one do you want? Which, which ruin high... card is, do you want is the question. Well, without broadcasting too much what my hidden uh, ruin <laughs> is. I, I'm gonna go here for the, the cavern ruin, and uh, I'm just gonna try to, uh, to sort of roll high on that. So I have to choose my die, declare where I'm going, uh, make a roll, and I got a three. So three to your 11. So a couple things to talk about there. First is that uh, a high roll obviously is gonna help me claim the ruin. Mm -hmm. uh, when the total dice on the card uh, equal or exceed the claim value in the upper left-hand corner, then I've got that ruin. Right. Three doesn't get me very far toward 11, and there's a lot but of cards that can beat it. It does give you a stone. It does. So if I roll a one, a two, or a three, right. that gives me the chance to claim one of the stones here, and I'll go ahead and take the blue one right here. So that we can maybe eventually get to the College of the Overseers here. Which is a pretty cool wonder. So I'm yeah. gonna... Uh, just put that over here for now, and I'll be building a little ring of stones right. as I acquire more uh, So if I can, stones. on my turn, because we were going clockwise still on it, right? Sure. So um, if, uh, if I wanted to, I could try to sneak this away from you by rolling my um, overseer dice, and because if I can get to an 11 and I have the higher number, then I claim this ruin. Yeah, so if you roll that eight, then you've got that Yeah, uh, that's that a ruin. one out of eight chance. So I think instead, I'm just gonna take my six-sided dice, go for a 50-50 shot between either taking the stone or at least beating your number in that set. So six, boom. So it doesn't, doesn't give me a stone, but at least no, I'm close to 11. It's always a when a six-sided die is beating your eight-sided die. So That's good. That's good. I like that. Congratulations. Now, every turn starts with the option to play Delver cards. Yeah. Uh, and I'm actually going to play one of my Delver cards. I'm going to hit Ivan with Forlorn, and I'm going to give minus two to any one die already on the ruin. Take that guy down to four. So Gross. now I just need, what, a four to close that one out? Yeah. A four better? And I think I can beat your four with my uh, my big Overseer die, my right. D8. So let's see what happens. <laughs> no. Right. A lot of wasted misery. Now, a one, two, or three, as we said, on any die, I get to take a stone. Yeah. I have a stone left there. Uh, if there are no stones on Ruin, then you'll pull blindly from the bag if you roll a one, two, or three. Blind so we'll bag. That. All right, Johnny. All right, well, I think you know, a lot of action on this Ruin right now, but uh, I do want to claim this one, so I'm going to see what I can do here. I'm going to I'm gonna play Lost in the Ruins uh, and re-roll any one die already on a Ruin. So I've got a decent shot of getting a better number with my D8. Mm -hmm. All right, got yeah. a five there. Four. and. Uh, the anything you do off of the Delver card uh, is sort of a bonus. Now I get to still do my regular excavation okay. roll and see if I can back that up. We're I think already with one, I think you could yeah, probably do it. I think I can do, think I think I can do it. Sure, and okay. I got it. Okay. Done. So you beat it by 11, no problems. You take that rune card. And we all get to basically take our dice back, but since we're taking our dice back and we don't claim from the actual rune card itself, we get Delver cards instead. We get a consolation prize. So if a rune was claimed, the winner gets the card, the loser gets one Delver card for each die that they had on that rune. Totally, now we reveal a new one from the ruined deck. Great. Gosh. Uh... <laughs> you gonna go after him again? I'm not, I uh... 
I'm actually gonna play Band of Delvers. This card lets me roll two dice during the excavation phase, and they can go in the same or different ruins. So uh, I'm gonna roll my, my uh, D8 and my D6, one of my grunts here. And Johnny, I'm actually gonna try to grab that, uh, that cavern ruin. Let's see what happens. We'll start with the D8. Hey, nice eight. Very nice. Uh, and Clean then I'm actually up. just gonna Clean close it, it out with this guy. Clean it up. Boom. Yeah, you are. All right, look at that. I'm murdering you guys. So, Johnny, you'll get a Delver in Constellation. You'll throw our stones back in the stones bag, and I'll take this guy. All right. Now, I'm kind of working on a set here, because you do get points for doing matching sets. You know, a pair is better than a singleton. Right. Three of a kind is better than a pair. But I also get some points if I can put together one of each type of the runes. That makes sense. All right, I think I'm looking for some, um, at this point with a five here, I need a six to clean it out. I think I'm just gonna try to get some low stones here at the moment, and I'm gonna keep working towards my 11. Okay. So a two, this is, a, this is one of the reasons that you like the four-sided dice, is because you are a strong likelihood to get a stone yeah. out of doing one of those. So yeah, I will We call that die the gatherer, and his gatherer. specialty is, is gathering stones. Got it. All right, I'm gonna use expedition so I can choose where to place my uh, roll. excavation roll after I roll. Uh, again, otherwise you have to declare ahead of time. So, okay, four, um, I'm just gonna put a little bit more into that nine. Mm, uh, great, so I think what I'm gonna do at this point, I got seven here and I would need a four to clean this up. I think I'm gonna actually just finish this and put a, a new Discovery Delver card down, taking my five to a seven. Uh, to get, just make sure that if I... you roll a one on this, I'm going after that one. <laughs> <laughs> just to be... Oh, oh God. Oh, yeah. You just made it. <laughs> so not only do I get a stone... That's right. Um, but then I also get the card. Yeah. And because we weren't contesting you for that, we don't get any Delver cards. No Delver so cards. Sometimes it's kind of good to get in there and... Uh, just own it on your own. Focus on it. Test Delver. one. And a big chunk of the strategy for this game is knowing when to get in. So I've got a good chance here of beating this four, three right. and four. I, you know, I could let Johnny get away with it, but he's my little brother, so I'm just not seeing it happening. Him up. So I'll roll my overseer on that guy. Let's see what we get. Oh, four. Uh, so uh, we'll now, beat it. wonderful because we see a tie now. Right. I'm tied with his d6, but my bigger die, my d8, beats his grunt, his d6. Right? Yeah. So I'm taking that one. He gets the consolation prize of the two Delver cards. Uh, he can throw that stone away for us. That's for you. But I'm getting my set nicely together here. And part of me wants to gather in here as well, too, but part of me wants to also have that one in eight chance of just swooping the card in. It's a pretty low chance, though. Gather away! Whee! All right. So working towards that shattered edifice, theoretically, or there's a number of wonders out here which you can build with any combination of right. stones. Right, and as you can see, since I have the third one here, you can kind of see how you start to build it around. You want to build them into a hex shape because the ruin goes in the center at some point, and as this shows in the formulae, as you said earlier. <laughs> I must back off, man, I'm a scientist. <laughs> uh, one, two, three need to be together, and then I can have three of any color, so, you know? Awesome. Um, or does that mean that they can be in any order? I actually have a reminder. The stones can always be in any order. But they have to be included um, on the matching sides. Three of these sides. would have to be the black stones and three could be anything else. Got it. Um, and the nice thing is you can always start a new stone ring before you finish another one, as long as it's connected to that old one. Now, this, it's good to say at this point, you know, in terms of tactics and strategy, there's a lot of points on the board right now. Right. If you were to get one of these mountain runes, it'd be worth two points. But if you're able to pull all four of these, it's worth 20 points. Yeah, so the huge. more of a certain of a kind you have, the better you're gonna do. Um, all right, I'm just gonna try to close out this forest. Ugh. And I did. Right? Right. Your luck is delicious. I am just I, luck of the Irish, man. Yeah. Killing it. All right. I would mean he's lucky too, though. He's adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody told him. All right, I'm all right. gonna I'm gonna finish off uh, the mountain over here and yeah, hopefully just do a halfway decent roll. Oh, man, I'm, I just need a six or a five. Yeah. You, that, is a, that is ripe for the plucking. Yeah, man. I think I'm gonna do reading the stones as a Delver card. Give my next die roll this turn plus one or negative one. All right. I just need a four or a five or a six on this. So a four will go to a five. Oh, uh, interesting. Will, Oh, we got, actually, we've got a tiebreaker, I'm afraid. Do we have a tiebreaker? Yeah, is yeah. his number higher? So or just... These two dice are tied, right. so we can go to the tiebreaker, which is gonna be the next highest die. Ah, but... And you'll notice Johnny's tiebreaker actually beats yours. 
that's that was a poor poor planning, Ivan. Yeah, it poor was. But, but you wanted to show everybody a great example of a tiebreaker. Yeah, that's a good. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, 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 here. Why don't you take your card as your, part of your prize? Your reward is uh, two, two double cards. cards. Two of these bad boys. Oh man. All right. I think I'm going to do an expedition as well too. I'll just re-roll this one. Two. Oh. So I think I will instead go. Yeah, and take my yellow. Take the yellow. And then I will complete a wonder. You da, did. Da, da, da. So our first wonder is done, and you're grabbing either of those. You can do the, the so see, the eternal flame is when a ruin oh, that you I have could. no dice on is claimed. Yeah. You may draw a Delver card, that's powerful. Or I could do my Temple of the Flames, or I could do my, I'm sorry, my my Shattered Edifice, which allows me to reroll fours and fives. I think I'm gonna take the Shattered Edifice. One. Since we do not like fours and fives, they are hard to work with. Yeah, I'm gonna take that, and so my cool little hex bug, me, 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 me has been there, so the, the, the power, the ruins have been powered up, and it now kind of lays in my space. Yeah. And now if I wanted to, I'm again three away, because all I can do is just build out for the next one, if I so choose. Yeah. Um, yeah, or I can go for more wonders. You're, you're well set up here. And if okay. you get three wonders, uh, which is a little tricky, uh, you get a bonus five points. Nice. All right, I'm gonna use my double phase to play a new discovery, which gives plus two to any die already on a ruin. Mm -hmm. What's cool there is I can convert this into a seven, and then boom, it adds up to nine, and I can claim it without right. ever. So you'll instantly claim it. Rolling a die. Get my delver. Right. Johnny's overseer goes back there. And now I get to make my actual roll, and I'm gonna go for this mountain with my, what we like to call the overseer die. And I'm gonna ancient map this. This turn I can re-roll my excavation roll. Okay. Uh, again, that one's important to know. You play that before your die roll, so I'm, you know, I have an advantage on this roll. Okay. Which is good because yeah. you rolled a two. It. And then whichever you choose, you end up taking. Yeah. I don't get the stone from that two. You know, my roll right, is that right, five. Right, right, right. All right, the last of our ruins comes out. The next card that comes out will be the end of age card. It will either be a special ruin or it will be a sort of game modifying card. It'll Got be an it. event which changes things up a bit. All right, so I'm doing a reading the stones this time, and I'm going to re-roll all the dice. Um, oh, actually, I'm not gonna do that, because I want to re-roll my dice yep. and uh, give this one a try again. Oh no, I actually do want to do a plus one on it, because I want to get now, that four Now when you re-roll, the dice will stick on the, Stay on there. On the ruin so that it was is, originally on. Which is what I'm going to do, reading the stones, so there's a chance that if I get a three or a four, uh, it doesn't matter, I'm not going to clean that shouldn't up. shouldn't matter, you should be able to, you'll, no, you're not going to, but you will get, so you can re-roll that. Because, because of, of Shattered of Edifice. Shattered Edifice. So, so one. You and you'll get a blind stone out of there, and if you get luck, you'll get a black, but if not, you still got this one over here you can work on. Come on, sweet, sweet yellow. Sweet, sweet yellow. Yeah. Um, the That's eternal right. flame. You've got a lot of options Or maybe here. just a lesser wonder, yeah. So now I will do, because uh, that was my reroll. That was so, just a reroll. So I'm gonna give my next die one or two this turn, still with the Delver, yep. and I think I'm gonna go for this guy. Yep. Bingo. Great. Now you have to give it a plus one or a minus one. So, so I'll just make move it to a two, two and it's just fine. And I'll clean up, hopefully a greater wonder here. Yes, sir. Let's see. Oh, of course. Oh. Over the purposes of camera, I will say that it's a six point <laughs> greater wonder. So that's nice. I got the, the not so great wonder of the greater <laughs> wonders. So. Joe, the quite average one. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I just got to close this one out and get my dice back. And that didn't do it. No. Nope. Uh, right. Let's see. Seven, but he does eight, complete. I'm feeling really great about him being just tied up in that forest. I yeah, but he did get a wonder, up, though. I have lost a lot of momentum here, but I am going to take this College of the Overseers uh, and I'll throw that guy in there. Oh, he's adorable. Um, and. Uh, Next turn, I will be allowed to pull a die off any card and re-roll it. Uh, oh, because all I your am, dice are on the I table. I am Delverless. Oh, good. Mm. Now we reveal the end of age card. So this signals that the game is coming to its conclusion. Uh, and the end of age cards, some are special ruins, and some are, like this one, just things that modify the rest of the game. So Festival of Reclamation gives a plus one to all dice rolled for the rest of the game. So that, uh, that, that will hasten us toward the end of the game, and. Uh, 
tilt things toward ruin gathering, uh, there's an opposite one that uh, gives a minus one to all rolls and Got tilts it. things toward gathering. So. Right. Got it. All right. So I'm gonna do reading the stones and give me my last big push going for this guy. Nice. Oh, becomes an eight. Ha ha ha. I didn't even need it. Which I think, uh, 10, you're done. That one, we're done. Great. All right. So I'll take this guy. Take these guys. Throw one Delver card my way. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I have a set? What? Gosh. <laughs> uh, so what I'm gonna do instead is because since I need any stone, theoretically, I'm just gonna mildly contribute to this one and put a gatherer Smart. on it. Smart. And see if I get a well, it's okay. I get a four. It comes a four. You can re-roll that. I can that. re-roll it because of Shattered Edifice. Thank you, Shattered Edifice, which there will take go. me to a three, which will give me a blind stone. Interesting. And again, because uh, Seven, eight. getting yeah, three wonders gives you five bonus points, nice. this wonder is worth whatever's on that lesser wonder plus five points. Oh, that's right. Look that's right. Go. So I'm going to take, which was the other thing about chasing the three wonders. Yeah, um, and I'm going to definitely take a lesser wonder because the underground library, or the Temple of Flames is not going to help me too much right now. right -o. So for the purposes of letting people know what's up, it's actually a four-pointer. So that's actually, that stone got me nine points. I am going to, um, I'm going to use all this sweet, sweet Delver action I've got. I'm going to do Lost in the Ruins. I'm going to reroll any one die already on a rune. That's lame. Reroll my D8, and that goes to a five. Uh, and then, I am going to, uh, because we're close to the end here, I'm gonna play, uh, do I get this? I think I do, five, eight, nine, 10. I'm gonna play all three of these ancestral claims. <laughs> and I'm just gonna send out like a super roided up grunt <laughs> who just lands in this desert. Don't even need to roll, it's just a six. And I'm, I'm just taking, it's just a monster cubic guy. And, uh, I'm taking this guy, he's mine. Oh my gosh. Uh, Uh, you're gonna add up your sets of uh, the colored runes here. Don't forget, if you do have one of a kind, I think I'm the only one, I'll get plus five points. You'll include the points for your wonders, and if you flip those over, they've got a little points there. And we'll see where we came out. Great. I know my number. Well, despite the fact that I looked really hot coming out of the gate, uh, I end up with Three sets of six points, 18 points, two singletons, takes me up to 22. And then my, my sad little College of the Overseers here, which didn't pay off the way I was hoping, uh, gets me to just 24. Really? G really. So I know what it looks- Oh, wow, great. Uh, I think I am at uh, 31. We tied. Wow, that's wonderful. So when we go to a tie, <laughs> the player with the highest the number of high value uh, ruins here is gonna get it. Ivan's got 15. Three 15 strength runes. Yep, I've only got one John 15. John only has one. Our winner. <laughs> what? The illustrious Ivan what? Van Norman. Happened. It all paid off. Uh, the, clearly <laughs> the wonder strategy did okay. The wonders yeah. works well. There's what? multiple paths to Just make victory. sure to check my math here on this because I have six, 12, 14, uh, 24, uh, 24, and then plus five is 29, plus two is 31. You got it. Well played. <laughs> well played, my friend. Uh, if that didn't look so rigged against me the entire game, I would not have believed it whatsoever. Uh, but I'll take it. I'll take a win. Thank you, gentlemen. That was wonderful. So that, everyone, is Unearth from The Brothers Wise. And we hope you enjoyed our little playthrough. And if you have an opportunity, make sure you can pick it up in the pre-order right now. It is available for $5 off, and you'll get it a week early. So you can taunt all of your friends and win, think you're gonna lose, but then win at the very end of it, <laughs> like I did today. So, thanks everybody, see you later. <laughs>